Jinx, and I believe uh, recently picked up Roy a little bit too. So, uh, oh, so all the sword characters. Yeah. I mean, TF, a man after my own heart, just picking up all the swords. Yeah. I love Roy in this game. Very uh, hype character. To watch. <laughs> okay. And here we go. We're going to see some crazy setups on the stage. T versus T. Try to follow along here. It's going to get this, Yeah, it's going to get real confusing, especially when we start the play by play and we start talking about like the setups that T is going to be setting up. I think the main thing I want to see right now is uh, what is. T's Link have to get around the Hydro setup? Does he have like a strong projectile to just immediately get rid of it? Or uh, his, his normals are they're strong enough to get rid of it? If not, he's going to be able to set up really well with the Hydro and charge through that, so... Well, my question is, is, does he even need to go through the, the Hydrant? He's, I mean, as you can see, like, a, two arrow shots was enough to actually just take out the, the Hydrant. Yeah. But one arrow shot is enough to put the Hydrant in T's favor. Oh, he dropped the key, but T able to pick it back up. Oh. Using the Hydrant and the key, putting out a little bit of extra damage. Straight up smash that shield. Yeah, I really do like the new bombs uh, from Link in this game. It just adds so much versatility in how he can uh, set up his combos in the stage. Great DI from T as he as uh, T was able to land a boomerang into forward air, which setting up into Link's forward air is actually pretty difficult in this game. It's not as easy as it was in Smash 4. But wow, look at the tracking of that, bo that bomb. Very strong ledge traps. That's why I really like the bomb in this game. It stays active for so long, and it's very tricky to get around. Now, I don't know if you noticed, uh, but the bomb set up at the ledge. Uh, he T threw it down at the ledge, which continued to make it bounce, and I believe it'll bounce five times, and that entire time it's bouncing, it actually has an active hit. Frame. Yeah, exactly. That's what makes it so tricky to deal with at the ledge. It's very uh, unique to Link. And there it is, covering that neutral get up. Bombs away. Great stuff there from T to get the first stock. He's also using his projectiles to stop the uh, the brutes as well. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't exactly get forced to use the bomber cover, oh. and he's able to send himself right back to center stage. Gets scooped up again, but back thrown off the stage again. Oh. Now using the bomb to cover his ledge. Oh, he fastballed that forward to catch the orange, and it was just too deep for him to come back. I do like the idea, though, just to see his awareness of dealing with the items. They're both so good with items in the first place. Though. And I'm pretty sure like they both have all the knowledge they need for like each other's items. Like, as you can see, like, uh, Pac-Man picked up Link's bomb and then just held on to it because the moment you actually take Link's bomb away from him, he's not able to explode it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually, it goes both ways. If uh, T takes one of the fruit and just holds on to it, then uh, Pac-Man can't use the fruit as well. <laughs> well, can we see an up throw into an up air. And wow, the up air was actually able enough to beat Link's down air. That's crazy. That's, that move is scary, scary strong. Yeah, Pac-Man's aerials are much better in this game, especially the forward air and down air. Forward air has what, much more combo ability, and uh, the down air can just flat out kill now, very similar to snakes. Yeah, avoiding, and I don't know, and again, just like these item setups, they when uh, when Pac-Man throws the bell, he also has a, bomb, a bounce similar to uh, Link's bomb. So you can see it just bounced on the ground. Thank God that new grab. It still gets punished, <laughs> but like, if that was uh, the previous game, that... That grab in neutral is just a free punish. <laughs> yeah, so, I remember the, the Pac-Man community used to call it just like the third, or yeah, the fourth taunt. Ooh. Oh, the last hit of the dare was not uh, going to connect correctly. Is it, if it connected right, you got to send him off stage. You definitely got the stock. But still not taking any percentage. It's still really good for T. Yeah, he's still punish. making great use of his first, or his last stock, and being able to back throw T into the blast zone, evening up the percents and stocks. Got the Galaga here in play. What's the, uh, the tricks he's going to go for here? Oh, I see. Trying a lot of pressure to T at the ledge. Ooh, even landing a down air. Yeah, I really got to say I'm uh, very impressed with how comfortable T is as Link in this matchup. He's just moving around the projectile so well, not really letting uh, T's Pac-Man set up that much, and just getting really good trades for him. It seems like whenever the Hydrant is out, uh, T is resorting to using more projectiles than like actual normals. To, uh, to challenge it. Yeah. He can definitely just destroy it from a safe distance all while setting up his projectiles. Oh, and he threw the bomb at him! Oh, okay. That would have been oh. so good. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, got the bell set up here. Going for a second one. Still got control of the bell. Gotta watch out. So yeah. true. But now we see Hydrant is out of play. The dash dancing from T is just actually mixing up, the, mixing up his approaches just a little bit that, uh, a little bit harder. Oh. Forward there, not enough to DI that one there, but a very close first game. T's gonna take that first one with the link. 
really good stuff from both players. And uh, they got a stage that really let them both utilize their uh, projectile game as much as they can on FD. Mm -hmm. So I'm really curious what T's going to do here. I mean, it just like you said, that stage worked out for both of them fairly well. Mm -hmm. I don't see them changing stages, even if we go to a game three. It's going to be three games of Final Destination. Oh, man. You think so? Two zones just want to play on FD all day? I mean, can you think of a better stage? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Okay, we're jumping right back into game two. And T starting off very aggressive. They actually both ran at each other, which is kind of surprising for two setup characters. Yeah, maybe to just kind of set the tone of the match, like throw, uh, throw them off on one side of the stage with like an aggressive play and then set up from there. Well, we do see T off, off stage. Great uh, lead oh. straps. Wow. Down throw into hero spin. Yeah, the hero spin hitbox in this game is very difficult to fall out of. It scoops you from behind, like, really consistently. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, man, the forward air not connected. He's going to go for the fair train for himself. No tech chase, though. That's right. Good tech from T. And now T is forced to uh, resort to throwing out fruit. Again, setting up this bomb set at the oh, ledge. Oh, that's such good use of the bomb setup. Looks like T really knows the angles and how far like each each hit will send the bomb and what trajectory it'll send it out to really mix up the the traps. Speaking of traps, the boomerang coming right back into the forward air. Nice setup there from T. Uh, it's uh, so good to see that he still has it with uh, Link in this game. I know when uh, Ultimate first came out, he was mainly using uh, Young Link because he wasn't comfortable with the new uh, Link without the hook shot. Oh, oh, it's, oh <laughs> going for the Hype Maker! Down air into Hero Spin. Definitely would have killed. Yeah, oh, yeah, that Hero Spin is insanely strong in this game. But, uh, yeah, again, he's definitely adapted to the new Link in this game and uh, definitely seeing shades of his uh, Smash 4 Link in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, even throwing out a little bit of a trap with the Hydrant. Now Galaga applying some ledge pressure, using the Nair to sneak back on stage, and now T finding himself off stage, charging a little bit of fruit on the way back. Yeah, we, uh, I really haven't been able to see T uh, capitalize that much off of his hits uh, so far. It's just been nice up smash right But yeah, has this been T's link able to get out of disadvantage really well and then just set up much better in uh, the mid-range with the setups. Nice snare again. Really good awareness of dealing with the hydrant. And the Z-drop. Oh, man. Right when he was trying to charge the fruit, he just wasn't safe. That's right. I mean, it comes down to these traps. Like you were saying, it's all about Link T uh, setting up his bombs, his projectiles, and then T, Pac-Man, uh, really just trying to escape. That's what essentially game two has been. Yeah, he might really be struggling just because his projectiles are like, he has to charge them, right? Mm -hmm. But then... Uh, T's Link, he can just throw out projectiles much faster, so he can uh, set up way quicker than uh, Pac-Man can. Wow, going for another hero spin setup. Interesting that it was off the, down to like, such an early percent. Usually we'll see like the hero spin used for, for some type of kill setup. But the cross-up back here does land onto Link T, and nice. using an offensive hero spin again, making it back to stage. Vegas, the narrow shield again, should play him off stage. See if he can capitalize though. He's trying to set up, force this kill, it makes something happen. But again, T's patience with Link. He just knows what uh, the Pac Man's going to do. And like you said before, like these two players are going to be doing doubles tomorrow. So they have a fairly strong idea of what each other's playstyle is going to be. Oh, for sure. I don't, this is definitely not their first time playing. Uh, they've been playing in the hotel like the whole time. So. Oh, that's true. I guess this is the downside of. Uh, being, uh, being roommates. <laughs> oh man, the snipe almost saved himself with the bomb actually, but he was just way too high percent. Try a little cheeky there with the uh, the upbeat, see so he can follow his invincibility, but T just jumped right around it. Yeah, very smart from T. Okay, both players trying to set up their projectiles by throwing the bomb right in T Pac-Man's face and letting it rip. Really safe around these hydro setups. That neutral air from Link is also really good too. Very active hitbox, super quick combos into most of his uh, setups. Mm -hmm. Now using that seems to be the only move that that, w that T has access to that will take out the hydrant in one hit. The Link's down air. What? Pac-Man starting to make a really good comeback here, making it really close. Okay, here come the bomb setups. We've seen these setups giving T Pac-Man. 
Uh, a lot of trouble. Oh. Almost got the bell set up. That up smash not safe. And the max range forward smash from T stays resilient, brings it all the way back. <laughs> and he's just... He's just like, I can't believe it, man. It was so hard. It was only game two. <laughs> game two of what is the pre-tournament oh, yeah. to a saga. <laughs> this isn't even the saga tournament yeah. yet. I mean, you, he may have to do this tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. The Are they on the same side? Yeah, I haven't, I, I haven't I taken know. a look at the brackets yet. I've seen people's uh, brackets, but I'm not sure, like, once they leave the pools, like, which side of the bracket they will fight each other on. Mm -hmm. I do know T has to play Salem. Oh, uh, wait, which man. team? Okay. Team pack, team pack <laughs> That's like the to get out of the pools in the first round, I believe. So Ooh. that would be crazy. I haven't seen T's links uh, bracket yet, though. Okay, well, here we go. Game three between T versus T. Battle of the T's. Battle of the zoners. There's only one stage that's appropriate for it, and of course, that's Final Destination. I like this uh, song, by the way. <laughs> it's a. Uh, is this Good the boss throwback. battle song? Or? Yeah, it's a uh, throwback to Smash 64. <laughs> Gotta appreciate the music in this game. Yeah. Wow, look at the chase that T's been throwing, uh, putting T Pac Man in. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I pretty much saw like T knew how to deal with Pac Man really well. In spite of that, though, uh, I was able to make that comeback. Maybe he just got a little bit too hasty to close up the game. Yeah, he was throwing out a lot of smash attacks, a lot of kill moves that, um, well, T was just sort of evading, and he just continued to play uh, with his own game plan, which is like, of course, you know, the runaway and projectile, until like Link was in a position where he was really susceptible to a punish. Yeah. Like cross up back here, and as you can see, uh, Pac-Man putting on the damage slowly, slowly making the damage rise. Okay, so the Hydrant again, really good timing of his hitbox. It just immediately gets rid of the Hydrant, doesn't let him uh, wait behind it and start setting up with the fruit. Oh, wow. Oh, hopping man. over that <laughs> jump, but, or hopping over the, the grab, but not enough to, not enough frames to actually punish it. Yeah, it's much more safe to throw in this game, but that was not a safe area to throw on shield. The hero spin, really strong option to do if someone throws something unsafe on your shield. Oh, Whoa. oh man. Almost trying to avoid everything, but actually catching the bomb in the process, not able to get that stock. And even being able to make it back using the spring that he had set up for a, a few seconds before. Oh, let's see. He's hanging on with this stock. Link with Rage is still very strong and scary character. Mm -hmm. That new trailer is so hard to punish out of shield. Like, Link can just keep throwing it on your shield, and if you don't parry, uh, Good luck punishing it. I mean, just being in this ledge situation with Link throwing out an air over and over and over can already be difficult to deal with. But T able to just go into force to use oh. the bomb recovery, but he's just at too high of a percent. Nice. I still like that he used every uh, option he had to uh, come back to the stage. Yeah, you can never give up. Never give up. Okay. Charge for the open smash. Nice. Gets a slight charge on the up smash for the extra damage. And then even falling over the up air, but punishing the air dodge with a down smash. Ooh, nice. He gets the F tilt, added damage with the hydrant. And got another snipe here coming off from T. Oh, just miss spacing the bomb throw, and T able to make it back to the stage with his life. Well, I even like the uh, T was using the hydrant to give himself a little bit more distance in the air and stalled so that uh, T Link wouldn't be able to set up. Very scary. It's like once they get close to each other, they're both like so scared to throw out an unsafe move. I mean, as you can see, like Pac-Man T is really the one to will resort to running away just to put distance between them, while T Link is the the one who will approach. Oh, it's a good thing that throw does recover pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, he's been using it so much more than he would before. Okay, he has the bell in hand. Oh man, the arrow! If you don't block, you won't even use the bell. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, the fire hydrant out of play again, but F tilt going to be whiffed. Alright. Trading projectiles back and forth. How is T gonna land here? He's gonna get rid of the hydrant. Put a setup. Oh no, throws it in his face, but covers the jump. As yeah, this forward air still covering multiple options. And now we see the bomb set up starting to come in play again, but the oh, water actually no, put the bomb away. Completely off the stage. <laughs> like, alright, we're not playing with this anymore. <laughs> Hey, he's trying to get this bell set up. 
if he can make it work, T, again, he's just like, nah, I'm not messing with it at all. I know you're trying to get something started with that uh, potential kill with the bill or the key. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hang back, charge my projectiles safely, and not yeah. really uh, give you opportunity. But even still, like, T was able to put the, the hydrant in his favor. That's so just smart. Setting nice. up again. Yeah, it just nares right through the hydrant hitbox as well. Okay. Oh, but there, there is the is. kill setup with the bell. Yep, caught him jumping a little bit too much. 50% is not too bad. Pac-Man actually can rack up damage at low percent really well, as you can see with the Galaga setup. Wow, that was actually 50%. <laughs> <laughs> nice Deficit stuff. Deficit gone. Yeah, great stuff from T. Immediately evening up. We got the Nair out of shield too. And we saw it when he gets this comeback. We saw it in the last game. Once, once he gets started, he can definitely bring it back. Yeah, and it seems like whenever T Pac-Man is uh, starting to get a little bit more over aggressive, uh, and especially when he gets really confident with his aerials and airs, forward airs, up airs, that uh, we see pa Link starting to struggle. Yeah, uh, Pac-Man's aerials again are so good in this game, especially uh, you know aerials just being less laggy overall. He can actually approach them much more than he could before. And we see the bell in hand again. He's throwing out the bell, but it does whiff. Oh, now we're gonna see a hiding behind the hydrant. His hydrant is gone. He's just trying to make sure he can't charge his roof, but oh my goodness, still had the bell in play. That's right, just a little bit too high, would not able to really set up for the up smash. Oh, but tech oh. chase, nice, caught the tech in place with the up smash out of the nair. That nair is still really good for setting up, and uh, that's super close. Game three set, T's gonna take it over T Pac Man, uh, going back and forth. I mean, that oh, was that just was an good. amazing set to, to watch, and in general, yeah. first of all, two setup characters who normally play a little bit more defensive, a little more set up,